Intel and TSMC reportedly reach a preliminary agreement to form joint chipmaking venture. On April 3rd, Intel and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., TSMC, reached a preliminary agreement to form a joint venture operating Intel's fabs in the U.S. TSMC will take a 20% stake in the new company. The White House and Commerce Department officials have been pressing TSMC and Intel to make some sort of deal to help resolve the long-running crisis at Intel. Uh, I think also largely because the U.S. wants to domesticate chip manufacturing, but okay. Um, Intel reported a net loss for 2024 of... 18.8 billion dollars its first loss since 1986 and boy howdy is it a big one last month tsmc reportedly approached nvidia amd reportedly is a very key word here yep. approached nvidia amd and broadcom to take stakes in a joint venture operating intel's factories later nvidia and a tsmc board member denied these discussions uh, that's why I said reportedly. Yeah. Uh, also, last month, TSMC said at a press event that it plans to make a fresh $100 billion investment in the U.S. that involves building five additional chip facilities. This all comes very shortly after Intel appointed former board member uh, Lip Bhutan, uh, there's your name in front of it, as its CEO in March 2025. So our discussion question is, who can save us from a TSMC monopoly on high-performance chip production if TSMC literally has a 20% stake in the company that operates the fabs for their only reasonable competitor? Well, especially with oh, yeah. uh, the changes to American political global approach, or however you want to call that, um, it is ridiculously in Taiwan's best interest to death grip that monopoly as hard as they can. So I suspect they will be doing so. Pay no cat says I lost a ton based on Linus's totally great investment advice on Intel. First of all, I do not give investment advice and I never have. Second of all, I said that if I was interested in it, it would be a very long term. Yeah, play. I remember that very specifically. Your form of long term might be different, but with my extremely ignorant stance on stock trading, this is not long form yet. We it was yeah, I, I in the long term, China will invade Taiwan. When that happens, any fab that is not on the island of Taiwan, um, any fab operator who does not have their their key fabs on the island of Taiwan uh, is going to benefit. I'd love to be wrong. I would love very much to be wrong, but I haven't seen anything to indicate that that is not going to happen at some point. 